In this demonstration, we'll show you the process of quote to cash. Now the reference to sales to accounting represents the multiple applications that'll be on display in this demonstration. The reference to sales refers to Dynamics 365 sales and the applications that the sales sellers use. And the accounting reference is to the Dynamics 365 Business Central. As these two applications are integrated or can be integrated based on the correct licensing, we'll show you in this scenario how to create a sales quote in Dynamics 365 sales, convert that quote to a sales order. From there, the business rules of the organization will then convert that order into a sales invoice. We'll post the invoice. We'll send it back to the sales application just to track the status of the invoice. And eventually, the customer pays. We'll convert that to cash. Let's begin by creating a sales quote. I'm in Dynamics 365 Sales in the Sales Hub. And a sales rep receives a call from a customer, is interested in placing an order, but wants a quote first. We'll go ahead and open up the customer, hit sales quote, enter the name of the quote. We'll select the price sheet for Business Central, which is where we manage our inventory and our current prices. We'll select the customer. This is a datum. And choose save and close. View the record. Once I have the quote created, I need to add line items. The quote has been saved, but I need to enter the products and the lines. I'll look for my existing products. We'll give this the Antwerp conference table. Save and close, and then activate the quote. Now we get confirmation from the customer that they do want to move forward. So we'll convert that to an order here at the top of my toolbar in the ribbon. We've won the deal, put in a description, select OK. Now the order's been created. The last step is to submit. And since this is integrated into Business Central, once that submission takes place, that order has been passed on to Business Central for processing and invoicing. So let's go ahead and switch applications. We'll open up Business Central, and you'll notice I have the order sales orders that are coming from that application. Here is that new order. And this can be automated. This is a manual process just for checks and balances. But now that I have this new quote furniture for a datum, there's the quote for the one table. I will post the sales order and then we will ship an invoice together. Now the sales order has been posted. It can be viewed under the posted sales invoices. And then I could send that invoice to sales. I'll open up posted sales invoices. And we'll select and we'll create that invoice in Dynamics 365 sales. This way, the sales rep is able to understand the status of the customer's order or invoice without needing to call somebody in accounting. And again, this is a process that can be automated. I'm showing the manual process just to show you the steps. When I close that out, we'll review the sales invoice as the seller returning to the sales hub. Now under the invoices, you can open the invoice and you notice the status is billed. This is important because that means that the customer has an open invoice, but they have not yet paid the company. However, once payment is implied, that status will change. So you could see again the same thing here and over on the far right corner you could see the status has been billed. The customer has paid us. Let's go ahead and convert that into our ledger. I'll open up the cash receipts and with payment to the customer we'll enter in the sales amount that they sent us. I will apply that to the document which was this sales invoice. I'll select OK. And we could preview the posting or just simply post. And now that those lines have been created, we're turning to sales. I'll open up the sales hub. You'll notice in the status, it reflects the recent activity 
that that invoice has now been paid. So in this scenario, it was really just to show you the, the integrated seamless experience, the two applications working together from the sales quote and converting that quote to an order, and then the business rules being taken over and the responsibility of the finance professional in Business Central to take over the remaining part of this process.